welcome to the channel everybody um, today I have this pack car engine and I had it before because we were working on some stuff um, some sensor that we needed to replace and the check, en check engine light on but uh, in this case I already work on see let's try to clear it yeah it's the same truck okay zoom like focus right here's the fault code that we had but uh the fault code the main fault code that we had was this one right here um uh, what should to supply this one the the p0473 um and we had to the egr malfunction so this one right here the engine protection and the egr so uh, i believe then the reason why these two codes after after investigating after uh, analyzing the fault before i say then i was going to repair this but after i uh, uh, uh investigated the fault i believe then the reason why these two codes were active is because this sensor wasn't reading because before it was showing error only um, on the reading um, it was just not showing any type of measurement and that's uh, the reason why uh, I decided to replace the sensor and indeed the sensor was the problem uh, uh, we can see now here on data and, uh, and we go to gas pressure which is exhaust gas pressure uh, uh, we can have reading here before as I say before um, uh, we uh, only had a uh, error signed and, and and that's because the computer wasn't able to read any type of uh, measurement because the sensor was in circuit so in this case I have the sensor here and I have the part numbers so there is the one sensor here and there is the other sensor right here the two of them uh, this is the part number for the green one which is the exhaust manifold pressures right here uh, I believe that's correct let me check let me double check uh, no 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 it doesn't correct so this is this so it was like this oh it says right here see that is pre-turbo and this is uh, post pressure. Oh, okay, that, that, that was correct, I'm sorry. So it was like this. So this is the after the turbo, and this is before the turbo. And that is that pre-turbo pressure sensor right here, that's the part number. And this is the post-turbo, after the turbo. And that's the part number right there. So we replaced both sensors. The owner of the truck sent me the both sensors. And I noticed then the green one, the one that goes bef uh, before the turbo, which is the exhaust pressure sensor, it had water inside, some humidity, moisture. So uh, that makes me wonder then that was the reason why this uh, uh, sensor was failing. Uh, maybe that was the whole reason why it wasn't reading, because water went inside the sensor. It's normal then you see water inside the sensor because of the humidity and everything. And, uh, but in this case, uh, we are okay now so to remove the sensor is pretty easy all you have to do is like rotate to the left uh, to the left just like any type of bolt and then it will come out and then you pull the new one and this one to the left and then to the right to pull it back and that's it nothing nothing major nothing complicated uh, and, and, and it's pretty easy to access it's not that complicated and, uh, and to remove it uh, we need Um, nice uh, one one sixteen wrench, which is this one right here. What we need to remove it. Uh, not uh, special, pretty basic. But I still have something else to do, and that will be the uh, EGR with the engine protection. 
So I believe that the EGR and the engine protection problems are related to the same issue. So I will need to find a way how to clear those. It is obvious, right? Because the EGR uh, pressure depends on the exhaust pressure. And if there is no exhaust pressure, the EGR won't have any type of flow. So the computer declares then, in K, uh, because of the exhaust pressure is completely non-existent, uh, the computer di uh, dictates to the EGR to stay close to apply the maximum amount of power. Um, and, and of course, it's going to reduce the power, uh, the engine protection system, uh, because when the EGR closes, you increase the temperature on the exhaust system and increase the amount of um, uh, emissions. So uh, the computer will say, you know what, let's close the EGR, but at the same time, let's lose the power because we are not reading pressure uh, on the turbo, uh, before the turbo. So we don't know what's the actual turbo pressure that we are going to build. So let's uh, do that. Uh, so I assume that after a while, after working for a while, this course will, away, will go away, or I have to de uh, clear them with the uh, software. But I had to do the Spanish video, that's the reason why I haven't cleared them yet when I showed them this, this code, this specific code see, is inactive, it went away already because of the sensor is already working. So uh, basically I need to uh, just clear the code and see what happens. If not, I have to follow a procedure on how to get rid of that fault. And if I cannot find it, well, I will do a different video on how long it takes or uh, what I had to do to delete that fault. So that way you guys get the idea on what you have to do. And again, there are the fault codes right here. And uh, uh, when it comes to this fault code right here, the one is right here, that one has nothing to do with the problem, the P0472. Uh, that was when I was testing the system, I disconnect the sensor and everything. And that's what it says, see like a uh, pressure before turbine, voltage too low or shorted to circuit, uh, circuit to ground. Um, so that means then, uh, uh, there was no kind of like uh, voltage uh, reference sending back to the computer. So it kind of detected like, oh yeah, there's a ground some, somewhere, so it's not right. And the other one, of course, it was telling you then the actual signal then was coming from the sensor was ground uh, uh, so, uh, directly attached to the voltage. So it was shorted to voltage. So it's like uh, the wires were together, but it was not that, it was then the sensor was sending the ground signal because the sensor had internal failure. But anyway, uh, this was the update that I wanted to do about this uh, Packard engine. And, uh, and as I said before, uh, in my previous video about Packard, about this same truck, I wanna do more videos about Packard. I wanna give more information to you about these uh, new uh, uh, engines that are very complicated in this case, it's 2018. I wanna continue on doing videos like this uh, because it's pretty important for you guys to understand how to work on these trucks. And um, I wanna get the best details when it comes to the diagnostics and stuff like that, because that's mostly what I do. I try to keep on touch when it comes to electronics and how to repair them, because sometimes they're very complicated. But as it is, this is all I have for you about this Packard engine, this Packard MX-13. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, just comment below. Uh, anything else to add to this video as well, just comment below. And whatever else you, feel then there is information missing or something just comment below as well in the description of the channel of the of this video i have details on how to uh, visit me to the shop so just bring just be sure to bring uh some time with you because if you don't i won't be able to uh give you the best service uh most of the time i need a couple days to work on the truck because i have to do some other things but uh if you want to come by to say hi you're more than welcome but anyway, uh, thank you for watching, like the video, subscribe, and see you later for more content like this.